back home in Dumfrieshire, enjoying a well-earned rest. Mavis Patterson, Granny Mave as she's better known, and the bike she rode into the record books. Well, I'll be off the bike for a while, yes, no thanks, bye bike. But that was my friend for three weeks, my bike was my friend. On May the 30th, 81-year-old Mavis, her bike and a friend Heather set off from Land's End in Cornwall. Her journey to the very north of Scotland, taking her through countryside and weather that would test anyone, let alone a pensioner in urgent need of replacement hips and knees. But some days when we had headwinds, rain, wind, I really doubted it. I was struggling on the bike and I hated it. This is the top! Shap in Cumbria, a test met with typical Granny Maeve resolve. You're doing amazing! Cup of tea here. When a headwind slowly brought her to a halt, there were days she admits she cried and felt like quitting. Says, I was crying. I couldn't see because of the tears and the sweat. I was almost blind at one point and it's just, I just want to give up right now. I can't stand it. Other days when the rain stopped and prompted a song. Don't know where we're going, got no way of knowing, riding on the road to John Gross. But there were good reasons for Mavis and her little team to battle on. The money they were raising for cancer support, and in Mavis's own case, a challenge that helped her momentarily forget the heartache of losing her three children, who all died in their 40s. But when I'm alone at home, it just hits me. So the best thing for me is to have a challenge and keep going. And I have three wonderful grandchildren, so they're watching where Granny is, and they think Granny's a bit mad, but still. Well, this granny is now in the Guinness Book of Records. Applauded into John O'Groats, the oldest person to complete the journey, with advice for senior citizens everywhere. It's always say, don't die with your dream still in you. If you have a dream, do it, just go and do it. It's not too hard. Her next challenge, that hip replacement, so she can walk as well as she rides. Paul Davis, ITV News.